So when you get in to the menus, generally the first thing you see is a is a record menu. And that you know it it may look like this. It may look more like that original uh, picture of that cannon that I showed you where the, the menus are along the side. It's not a whole big um, uh, display like this. So it does really depend on your different cameras. But what we're looking for with the record menu, if you've got something that looks like this, it's it's got a little camera here. And this indicates the kind of things that you can set your camera to. Now, if you use your cross keys to go down through these settings, you can see that you can set things like the continuous timer. You can set things like uh, face recognition. Uh, you can set um, whether or not you want to lengthen the review time. With me, when I'm taking a picture, I usually am taking them without my glasses on, and then I have to, to pull the camera away from my face and put my glasses on, and two seconds isn't long enough. Well, it's set factory default to two seconds to save battery power, so I may want to change my review time to, to six to eight seconds so I can see what it looked like. Uh, we can turn our red eye setting off. If you see something that says C-O-N-T shooting with a, a bunch of little squares, if you turn that on, that stands for continuous shooting, which means that when you're taking pictures, you can hold your, your finger down on the, the shutter and it will fire off a sequence of pictures depending on the right time on your card, how much battery power you have, and a number of, of other things. Sometimes if you can get you know 10 or 15 off in two seconds, and other times, depending on the lighting, you might only get two or three off. Uh, but it does give you the ability to do motion or capture motion or freeze it. That's what continuous shooting does. So it depends on, again, the specific camera you have, but these menus are designed to set up physically how you interact with the camera. Not necessarily take a better picture, but how you use the camera. And that's what this is set up for. Now as we get into these record menus, remember if you really hit something wrong, all of your cameras have a place where it says return to factory default. So you should be okay. Now there is one um, one thing that I don't want you to push, there's only one button that I say be careful about pushing. And we've just talked about formatting um, as opposed to the format of your picture. But there is another button set that, that asks you if you want to format your card. And you do not want to do that at this point if you have not moved your images from your camera to your computer. Because what happens when you format your card is it erases it and starts it over from the beginning. Now it used to be that you had to format your card every time you used you reused the the card. Um, there was there was information left over, but the technology has gotten good enough that you don't have to reformat your card every time you use it. But you may find that your card gives you some grief. It doesn't write right sometimes, or your car your camera isn't recognizing it. Then you would want to go in and try formatting your card before you throw it away. But as we're going through the menus tonight. Avoid hitting that if you have not moved your images from your camera to your computer. Just wanted to point that out. That's the only, that's the only button that will get you into trouble tonight.